You know, this is one of the trouble causes in this country. He's one of the bold journalists, one of the very bold journalists. Put your hands together for him. So, Captain, you're welcome. Praise the Lord. Amen. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to the Almighty God for this privilege. I've been here, pardon praise, been the MC for three straight years. And uh, when Papa was launching the story about his life, I was also here. So in this building, I'm a friend. But to the church service, I'm a first-timer. <laughs> we planned Thanksgiving breakfast this year. We had the first one in 2022. 2023, and this year was the third edition of Macedonia, where at the end of every year, we put people together, men and women of God, to join us to say thank you to God. We needed one person to be the person who would understand the person and the person that will come to be a person before God. So, we had a very long meeting, and we had a list of almost all the pastors here in this country. And I said, I want the bishop's bishop. Who is he? He said, I am looking for the bishop's bishop. The man who listens to God the one who can hear God's voice and say that you have stomach ache. So God says, I should tell you, beloved, you are here. And Papa's name came up. So we started the whole thing. We planned. And I'm so honored, Daddy. I don't want to say God should bless you because I don't know the kind of blessing I can even pray for God to bless you with. But I want to say that God should make you the man of the men. I had the opportunity to witness one of his uh, healing crusades here in Accra and also in Cape Coast. So I knew very well something was going to happen that day. He came. He got to his turn. And ladies and gentlemen, I must say this. I've met pastors, men of God. Unfortunately for us, we live in a country we celebrate mediocrity. Unfortunately for us. We live in a country where people who can stand up to issues that are confronting this country, make it and say it as it is, have been targeted. The only thing we can do for this honorable man of God is to show him undiluted love. Yeah, 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 I can phone your baby say. My very first time, a pastor preaching, and I have to interpret it from English to Chi. Said, Nedia Semaba. When I got the microphone, he said something, Captain, you can do it, so do it for me. And I also followed through. After the whole event, the testimonies that came, during the event, they are not the ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ones that rained on our phones. Papa, there's this military lady in Takrade who says that she's had some fibroid for God knows how long. 
And after the prayers, she fell flat. And when she got up, she saw some spots of blood in her room. So two days later, she went to the hospital to ask the doctors to check on her. And to her surprise, the doctor asked her, did you take any medication? He said, no. What did you do? He said, oh, I, I followed Macedonia Ononia and Archbishop Ajinasari said that if you are watching me and you are suffering from fibroid, in the name of Jesus, fibroid, lose your hold. And that was it. And Papa, God bless you. The lady can now see and see clearly. The blind lady that came, she can now see and see clearly. So, big men and big women of the Lord. As for the spiritual matters, his dog borrow. But physically, it is our responsibility to protect him. Yes, God will protect all of us. But when we are going to sleep, we all lock our doors. Because the Holy Spirit is not a physical security man. People will talk. Others will write. But those of us who know the writing will not be too bothered about what they write. Finally, there seems to be a lot of perception, a lot of things, but Papa, me, I'm not a sufferer. But I want to tell you this, that people's perception about you is irrelevant to your selection. And you will live to see a better Ghana. So once again, on behalf of uh, Media General, our group CEO, Madam Beatrice Ajiman, entire management and board, especially the UNIA team, which I lead, we want to say a big thank you for gracing the occasion. I want to say a big thank you, Papa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If anybody invites you to church, anybody invites you to any proper religious gathering, like this one, and you fail to attend, it is not the MC who invited you that you have disrespected. I've disrespected God. <laughs> Papa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. God bless you. Put your hands together for Captain Smart. Thank you. <laughs>